city of Wilmer announces retirement of Chief of Police Jim Felt. No. Who has dedicated over 34 years of exemplary service to our community and department. Chief Felt. Chief Felt. <laughs> uh, let's go into Ricada. All right. Here we go. Oh. All right, guys, big segment here. You've all been keeping up with, with this Ricada stuff. <laughs> oh, it's over, dude. It has never, it's never been, been this over. This He's been Omni felt it at the Omnibusy three times. There was an entire trilogy of felt in the Omnibusy saga. But now the Feltonings continue. So when last we left off, Drexel, well, not Drexel, but Ricada had a bunch of leaked DMs suggesting that he had paid $1,000 for an abortion to some black woman in Jamaica. <clears throat> well, Drexel, Ricada's former best friend, as Drexel has now distanced himself completely, hasn't talked to Ricada in months, Drexel was informed about this and he weighed in. Somebody goes to Drexel, can you give your thoughts on the Kakeda leak DMs? Drexel goes, huh? Enlighten me. So meme copium is covering him now. Kalia, one of his mods is revealing damning DMs. Oh, I believe she was on your show once too. One of the DMs seems to be Nick was scammed by Jamaican hookers into paying for an abortion. Aft man. All right, next slide. We get Drexel going. Wait, what? Bruh. And Midnight King goes, the most disgusted I've been in him. He talked all the time about how abortion is murder and it's your kid. And if your kid gets an abortion, it's killing your grandkids. And even how it's black genocide. But he paid to discreetly murder his own child with a destitute prostitute. <laughs> well, Drexel, with a reasonable take, says, sounds more like a scam. That's what I said. Think That's about what... how long it takes for a positive test, buddy. That's what I said yesterday. I was like, yo, he was scammed. Drexel just dunking on him, but we actually found, well, Kiwi Farms found, this old clip of Ricada talking about the woman that he paid for the abortion for. Okay. And trying to flex how into him she was. And the whole panel dunks on him. Wait, what? brutally, brutally. Of course she was. I've seen beautiful black women. No, I have. They're just rare. Very. Oh, oh buddy. Yikes. Damn. Very rare. And they almost always have bad attitudes. It doesn't matter how rare they are. Um, the attitude is just, just awful. I met one with a good attitude. Ooh. She was nice. I'm trying to remember. Wait, is he talking about the yeah. one that scammed him? Uh -huh. Yeah, remember yeah. And we're, we're going to get full, oh. yeah, full confirmation oh. now. Oh, of course you don't remember. It wasn't that long ago, even. It's just on my last vacation. I think. Oh. oh. I love no. how people are able to find this like within a day. A day! Within Holy a day, shit. they pull up the full receipt. <laughs> Lady Raggett's made fun of me for it. Your wife made you. fun of you for it? Well, what? she's like, you paid a thousand for an abortion? Are you retarded? Because you saw a attractive black girl. No, because she was like, she was like super nice to me and stuff. <laughs> she asked me to marry her. Oh man! Oh. She worked at the resort. You were yeah, yeah, yeah. No, get ready. We don't even have to say anything. They dunk on him so good. Shit they give the, the exact line I was about to give. Get ready. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's like coming home and be like, I think the stripper really liked me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He just. Oh Falcon. my Falcon. god. Falcon. Oh. Ricada, no. That's like coming home and saying the stripper really likes that's, me. That's what happened. Ricada's trying to flex some third world prostitute pretending to be into him as though he was like some macho Chad. Oh. And everybody on the panel sniffed it out right away and called him out for the nerd look that he is. Yo, yo, look at Drexel. Like, get a load of this cock. 
Draxel's like, I f this guy's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars girls looking away embarrassed. Nina's laughing. Nina's laughing. This, this guy. This guy's about it. He's like, f**k, Ricade is getting fouled. <laughs> made fun of me because she was a cute black woman who was like touching me and stuff it's like okay wait what wait a minute so wait. yeah you're right you're right you're right you're right you literally like okay. handsy was it a masseuse? calm down was it a masseuse no no <laughs> <laughs> her hands were all over me she apologized profusely because they get fired for that so this is like so Rakate is trying to pass off to the to the to chat into the panel that the woman risked getting fired for her from her job because she was so turned on by Rakeda's Chad studly 40 year old pencil neck geek body. She risked getting fired from her job. That's what he's trying to tell people. Come on. And none of them bought into it. They're like, yeah, that's like saying the stripper was into you, bro. And like, what's going on? That's the girl. That's the girl that he paid the thousand dollars for the abortion well, for. Well, that was scams. There was no abortion. There yeah. was no baby. Yeah. Like you said, they had a fake pregnancy test in the back. <laughs> um, wow. Now we're going into Rakeda versus Law Tube. So we were alerted to this arc. Rakeda's just seething. Seething. This is false. Highly disappointed to see the jealousy and outright false claims from people I help make thousands and thousands oh, of dollars. Shut the f Nate, up. the lawyer, this is shockingly low. First of all, Rakeda, it's not a lie. It's not false. We actually have a receipt showing a video from your own mouth where you talk about how they, you might pay them or break something off or split it with them. So you're lying, and it was easily disproven by, the way, by your own mouth. Thousands and thousands of dollars. So you're on someone's show a few times. You're now like beholden to their every action, you know, word. Every, but, shut the f up. No, Katie, you have it backwards. They helped you make yes. thousands and thousands of dollars, and you didn't give them a red cent. Exactly. And let's be real. Going on your show isn't the be all end all, Rakeda. No. They still had to do their own shows and garner their own audience. I made you, bitch. It's Ralph well, here. Your loyalty is sweet and salty. Why don't you lick on my baldo? La suffer, slobber on the baldo. Anyway, so here we have Nate calling out Rakeda. This is what he was seething about. Okay. And then we're going to pull up the receipt where Rakeda gets felted. Yeah. And we're gonna go into more seeth from Rakeda. It's the Rakeda versus it's Law the, Two it's Art. The, it's the seeth fest. Like, yeah. Well, let's just keep it real. Money did become a big well, issue that, well, because, well, well so, yeah, when you see what's out there, yes. <laughs> just so you guys understand, the thing that broke up the Law Two Cabal. <gasps> there it is. Money. Cabal. Nate the, the Cabal. Nate the lawyer calls it out for what it was. It was a law tube cabal. Yep. It was a mafia headed by Ricada, where you always had to wash the baldo, rinse his dirty laundry, never criticize him, never step out of line, mm -hmm. or else Ricada would direct all the other law tubers to blackball you, fucking wipe you out, talk shit about you. So they were all held in line by Ricada. But what ended up happening is it was a bad deal. It didn't make any financial sense to go work for Rakeda for free. These people are lawyers. They actually have a skill that they could make thousands of dollars from. They're giving their exactly. time to Rakeda for free, holding up his show for free. Because Rakeda, if it wasn't for all these 10 lawyers filling the dead air and actually giving analysis, he would have been screwed. Because he couldn't give any legal analysis. He sucked at it. So you're not going to wash the baldo? You think that you're just able to not tongue my baldo? You're not going to put it on? You're not going to do as I say? Listen, you're going to come on the panel and you're going to fill the dead air. I'm going to make twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 and you're going to do it for free. And you better never step out of line. You better not make fun of me for going to hedonism too. You better not make fun of the ball though. You better put it on, shut your mouth, 
and do as you're told. Or let me just say, I might go to Diddle Dax, and Diddle Dax, he might make fun of you with a panel full of pedophiles, and it might destroy your reputation. So sit in line. I'm the Baldo father. Don, Don Baldon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so that's basically what was going on, but without these lawyers to give analysis, fill the dead air, actually make jokes that were funny, Ricada would have floundered and died on the vine and not made a fucking dime. Yep. He would have went back to total obscurity, having to suck up to Diddler Dax and all this bullshit. Yep, so exactly. He owed these fuckers and he didn't pay them. And then he thinks they owe him eternal loyalty for paying them an exposure. They were on, like, he, he says here, they were on for free. Now, sure, he had the platform, but they gave their analysis, their time for free. Why? Gave the content. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. Why, why do you have to suck his fucking balls for the rest of your fucking life? Oh, I got to say, oh. Money, 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 money. Yeah. When, when, and, and now thinking back. The attempt to un basically unionize it. And I was like, oh boy. Woo! Like, unionize trying, it. So basically, they're trying it's like, to actually get paid themselves. You no, know what I mean? No, no, but the thing is, I think what he, he means by that, I think what Sean means is that like, we, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. We make sure we do everything as a team, you know, yeah. don't betray anyone behind the scenes. We're all together in on this, but like, sorry, Nick, you're a piece of garbage. Everyone hates you. And like, no one wants to support that. No, you one. come, you come to me on the day of my daughter's positive cocaine test. And you ask me for a favor, but you show me no respect. You don't even think to call me Baldo father. Now kiss the Baldo. <laughs> now wash the Baldo. No, you you know what? I think chat's fucking killing tonight. They're, they're making me laugh. At. Didn't realize. So yeah. when 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 Nick was doing Written House and yeah. Johnny Depp and all these other things, having mm -hmm. tw ten lawyers come onto a stream and talk about the case is so valuable. Well, okay, no, hang on, hang on. But also, I want to add to this, Nate. That I'm, I, I agree with what he said, by the way. I'm not trying to be mean. But well, also, it's not only like 10 lawyers with valuable insight. You've got 10. Now, it's smaller shows. But when these 10 shows bring all their small audience, yeah. you have 500 yeah. here, 800 here, 400, boom, 5,000, 3,000, like, like 6,000. Then it, it adds up to 20,000 plus for Kata's audience. Plus now... You're at 30,000 views. YouTube pushes you because of the amount of views you have. It's like, it's a numbers game. If Ashton and I, like the one that we had all the lawyers on the show, that show fucking killed because yeah. you got, you had, you get all these lawyers on our show and it brings all their audiences. Therefore, kick puts us on the front page. Therefore, we get more people. So it's not only the insight, it's a numbers game. And Nick but, should have been blessed. It, but the thing is, it the wasn't blessed. just, it wasn't just one guest appearance or, you know, a few, every so few months. It was day after day after day for week after week after week. Ricada raking in hundreds of thousands, mm -hmm. potentially millions of dollars on these trials on the back of their labor. Now, it'd be one thing if he never said he would give them anything, but he did. He publicly said he was considering giving them. And privately, I'm sure he made some promises as well that were undelivered. But he forgot. But now he expects people's undying loyalty to him. By the way, uh, some people in chat are calling this guy, Nate, the lawyer, Whoopi at law Goldberg. Honestly, Whoa. I didn't want to say, I didn't want to say, but I, I was going to say Whoopi Goldberg. Sorry, I'm just joking, joking, Nate. No, no, I'm just playing around. We, we troll a little here. So yep. valuable because mm -hmm. don't forget that that's what that's what blew up. And I didn't see any of it. Yeah. And I'm thinking mm -hmm. if you are making some of these guys are making twenty, thirty thousand dollars a day, and you don't think he about says some of these people, he means Ricada. <laughs> you know, like not, like some of these people. No, no, no. It was Ricada. Hang on, sorry, let me just plug in my headphone here. It's getting a little beep. 
Shit, where the fuck is it? Sorry, this. Fucking... So he calls him Guinan. <laughs> he kind of, he kind of does look like Whippy Goldberg in a yeah, way. He does, yeah. <laughs> oh, to any man. of your opinion, you know, just, just at least say, hey, you know what? I know you're, you're helping me. You're coming to my channel every day, helping me get these views and subs. It's not me, you know. Just break off a little something, or even like a, a gift or something. But none of those, none of those people did that. And, and a matter of fact, I not think Nick even, even promised gift. a couple of people. To actually break them off a piece and never broke them off a piece. So just to let everybody know, yeah, it, it was the thing that broke. The reason why you that's some hot goss I never French. heard. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there, there's um, I don't, I don't know if he wants. Well, there's two people. I don't know if they want me to say their names, but they say they were promised by Nick a piece of some of the action, and then oh. it disappeared, and and they never got it. So, and that was the reason. That's what kind of what broke. Everything. I don't think. By the way, I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't think that Nick. Nick did that even intentionally, like not pay them. I think Nick was so drunk and like felt like he had power. And I'll get, I'll get to them. And he forgot. And then he's buying coke and doing drugs. Like this is where he started doing all the crazy shit. Let's be fair. He didn't wake up one day. It was a cokehead. All right. Everything up. So, and then I remember we, we were all wet brain in action. Exactly. Arguing. Over who? Oh, because wow. then, then it was like the next trial, so it was like yeah. who would be the solo person to do the next trial? Oh yeah, well, like I saw that. Well, that part, yeah. that part of like in, yeah, that like, that part got really yeah. We're gonna organize we... this, and we're gonna <laughs> yeah. have like no, like Wait, what happened? I don't know. I think there's a lot more to this than they're Wait. even letting on. I think there's a bunch of shit that happened behind the scenes that yeah. we're not even privy to. So or they... that maybe it is out there, but we just don't know it maybe okay here's my theory maybe right so it was almost like a way okay nick we all hop on your show one day and then we'll plan one to go on sean's show and you know pass around the love pass around the viewers da, 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 da. but then nick got all selfish he said they were promised by nick a piece what? of some oh, yeah, of the action and cool. then it disappeared and, and they never got it so and that was the reason that's kind of what broke everything up so and then I remember we, we were all arguing over. Oh, that's okay. what broke it. Oh, wow. then it was like the, the next trial. ones wanted to. Oh, start there it a is. Pro a profit sharing program amongst all the law channels. Well, that was never going to happen. No, I that's what. Okay, but but this is I, I think this is actually a bigger thing. Like hear this is exactly what I, my theory was here. Over who? Oh, because wow. then, then it was like the next trial. So it was like yeah. who would be a solo person to do the next trial? Oh yeah. Everybody... So. What they were like, okay, you had the written house or you had the dep, right? Now we're gonna do legal mindsets. It was the next, yeah. and then we all go yeah. there, and then he gets the fucking bump there. Well, and that's exactly how it used to be back in the anti SJW days, Andy. Remember? Mm, yep. It was, oh, it's Andy's turn to do it. Now it's Sargon's turn. Now it's Crusher and whoever the. Fuck, but right? then they were all fucking and then i was like i don't give a shit i'm gonna just do it and then they were all mad at me because i was like yeah. well i don't give a shit like i didn't sign any contract with you slurs so how about you go and eat a dick and I, i'll i don't care bish so it was always a race we no one there was yeah. no group chat there was no plan it was the moment francesca ramsey had her video out like you better like Throw on the camera, DSLR, okay, ready? Shoot it out there, edit as fast as possible. It was a race. And sometimes I would win. Sometimes Sargon would win. Sometimes some black guy would win. Sometimes da da da, Bering would win. You know, but we'd all do it, right? We would all do it. So they, these guys wanted to make a union and like a, we all share money. That's not going to work with YouTubers. Yeah, well, like, no, I saw that. Well, that part of that part of like, in, yeah, that, like, that part got really. Yeah, we're going to organize we... this and we're going to have <laughs> yeah. like, no, like that's you put. Yeah, Sean, see smart. She, she's like, no, we're not going to organize this. This is like when I streamed one day with Chris and Jeff Holiday called in. And Jeff right. Holiday goes. He had some show called, I don't know, it's, it doesn't exist anymore, but it was him and some other alcoholic. Jeff, meth holiday. Yeah. You know, it's been a long time since I've heard that name. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was um, on a show, the, what was it called, guys, with that drunk alcohol guy? Internet Saints. 
Oh, that's you right. Remember, you remember, you remember. So I was streaming. They always streamed on Sunday, but like I didn't have a contract with Jeff Holiday. So on Sunday, I streamed. I didn't give a shit. And then he called in and he's like, hey, like live on the show. Um, you know, I stream on Sundays. And I thought he was kidding. And then he hung up. And I'm like, well, that's how we stop being friends. You know, it's like everybody has to have a time slot and respect the time. Slot. No. People here in chat are saying that Legal Bites tried to be the HR department of LawTube. Wait, what does and that, that even mean? She would, like, she would decide like the time slots and stuff. Like what? Can we do a fucking segment on this? Like, can Sean come on and explain all this shit? Yeah. Like what actually happened? Sean. Sean, where are you? Put a bunch yeah, of lawyers Sean, in the room. If you can gonna... hear me, can you explain the esoteric lore of LawTube that we don't know? Like, whoa, buddy. All right. Um, all right. So we go to the next slide. Here's Ricada just seething. Let me help. Do I strike you as the person who would offer to pay a smaller channel to guest on my huge Shut the show? Fuck up. I never would offer to pay someone coming on my show was hugely profitable to every guest. Bullshit. Of mine. Notice though, he had to say was and not is because now it's not profitable to go on his show. And in fact, it's a detriment because his nine-year-old tested positive for cocaine and he put on the baldo and yeah. the show was a disaster. He got Omni felted at the Omni pussy. It's all past tense. And by the way, do I strike you as somebody who would actually pay people who would, who would help a little guy? Huh. They were paid an exposure. Come on. And it's one thing when you're a channel that's like, you know, making decent money or whatever. This guy was raking in more than anybody has ever dreamed of hundreds and hundreds it was of thousands, wild. Months, millions of dollars. It's not like it was a thousand bucks, you know, or even two thousand bucks. This guy was making twenty, thirty thousand dollars a day. Day. That's wild. Um, all right. Here we so, go. So Everett goes, you were the one claiming that he said there would be direct money compensation when in fact he has said many times he doesn't pay people to come onto the channel. They joined because they wanted to and it would give them exposure to a larger audience. And Ricada follows up on that saying, several people have six figure incomes because of me. I never asked them for a goddamn thing in return. Other than that loyalty is sweet and salty. What he asks for is total like worship of him, shielding for him, sweeping, sweeping for him. That's the thing is he goes after legal mindset and Sean and other people because they don't enable his insane and horrible self-destructive behavior. That's what he expects is for you to never criticize him, never counter signal him, never cover the insane events that are surrounding him, even though it would be highly profitable. Because I made you, bish. I'm Lord Baldo. It's become fucking Ralph. Exactly. And then he goes, I am more and more reminded of why I have always hated lawyers, said the lawyer. <laughs> lose my fucking number. Well, they all did. April, like April coming oh. in with the simping. This is so gross, man. I've only met two lawyers so far that I have respect for and believe have solid integrity and principles. You're a core core. You're a core core. Others have mostly been disappointing and spineless. You're a coke whore slut bitch. Home wrecking slut. Integrity. Exactly. Ma married woman who She's goes destroying a marriage with five children. Yeah, and by the way, zero. She has zero likes and three replies because your a your your advice, your f it, or your your commentary means nothing. April, you stupid bitch. <laughs> this guy says, Nick, you say you never see April, and she's actually living in your house. <gasps> she's not living in my house. She came to my studio for her hearing because she doesn't have a one. Studio. 
Do you need a studio? To Don't you call just in? need a laptop a with phone. a webcam? You can do it on your phone. A Zoom? You can do it on your phone. Come on. By the way. To, and then it goes, it was nice. I like seeing her and it's been quite a while. I miss her. You're Bullshit. supposed to be married, man. No, but the thing is, your case, her case hinges on that she wasn't at your place often. Yeah. She was just there as like a like a temporary nanny, da 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 da. You know. So he's actively hurting her case with this. Yeah. Bullshit. Um. So we go in here. We, got, we saw that. He, so this is from Malcolm X's Twitter. Huge admission from Ricada Law on LawTube. Sean. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. From Nate the lawyer on. Yep. Hold on. We have the. Was that a duplicate? I think it was on Malcolm X's Twitter. The video where Ricada, uh, it, it, yeah, it's there. Here. It's right here. Yeah. But, yeah there. Sorry, there was a duplicate kid in there too. There um, it is. All right. But uh, we quartering. Isn't this wild? Coach the Red whole Pill? crew from back in the day. There's Ty Beard. Ty Beard, no. Buddy, that receded hairline. Like, it's time to give up on it. No, <laughs> Ty. Like, so this is where Ricada lied, 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 said he never promised them every, anything, never hinted at anything. But here he is. Legal mindsets present. Legal bites. There's uncivil law. There's it kurt ty beard virtual legality in the quartering and listen here to what ricada said okay we brought in almost an entire nissan sentra worth of super chats today <laughs> so how much is a nissan sentra this guy this guy is seething you know he's like do i get a like, bot like where's my money why would you tell people that so a Nissan Sentra is about twenty six thousand U.S. dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, which is which is uh, it blows my mind. That's I a appreciate nice it. Blows, yeah, it's gonna blow your blow in your nose, bitch. And uh, I will be. Um, I I know that my panelists have all fielded this question, so I don't have to. But, um, you know, listen they, to they, that. Wait. He goes, they fielded these questions so I don't have to. So he's admitting these people carried him. They're the reason the streams were successful. Right. I'll say it here, too, in a second. Not there's not like a fee sharing arrangement or anything like that. But I am contemplating how to maybe provide something uh, very nice for all of them, because I appreciate very much how much they elevated this show. Again, it would have just me been drunk crying into a microphone <laughs> for three weeks, which yeah, would have been embarrassing. Yes! Been. Right? The self-awareness there is actually crazy. He's admitting it's true. He would have just been drunk crying into a microphone, saying a bunch of crude, ridiculous nonsense and made no money. But because all these people networked with him, built him up, carried the show, filled the dead air, that's why he made all this money. Exactly. And here he is hinting, oh, I might give you something. And he gave them nothing. Nothing. And then claims that they're it was daily, the lawyer daily. is lying. It yeah. was daily. It wasn't just this. It was daily. Embarrassing. For like how long, by the way? Like a month, right? It was It was like two months, wasn't it? This yeah. trial. It was a long time. Yeah, dude. Instead, It's we, all gone. We got really, really <laughs> smart discourse from really, really great people. And uh, and so um, know how much I appreciate uh, everyone, and, and and I am I will be contacting each of you for for some uh, some instructions on. Oh, Ty, Ty Beard like that, yeah. Ty, you know everybody he like, he like this. That. You know, Ty like Fallout. Beard, Ty Beard might have got something. I doubt the rest of them got any. Well, they legal didn't. mindset. I think like <laughs> legal quartering? mindset got jack shit. What did quartering do? Did he just give his anti woke perspective? Probably. He was like Kyle Rittenhouse. Da, da, da. You know how I can get <laughs> you something uh, as a thank you. As a thank you. Nobody got anything. No, yeah, Ty Beard already got the Vic fund, so he was already happy. It was to make him look good. Scarebro, what's up, Scarebro? Says for Kelly, uh, Kelly was one of Nick's only female mods. Dig score bros know. Okay, about that was about the the leaks that we covered. Yeah, it's on the yeah. clip channel too, by the way. Nick poured his soul out to female fans, but dudes, I better like phoning ET the Nick. Yeah, and this was the weird thing about Nick. <laughs> I, oh no, Nick, no. 
I've been screenshotted a lot of conversations that female content creators send to me. And I'm like, Nick never spoke to me that way, bro. Whoa. Well, clearly he was, he was drunk and horny. But like whatever you think conversation. There's no theory here. He was drunk and horny. The end. We had, we didn't have those type of conversations. He was gushing with these people. Oh, he's a simp. Simp alert, simp alert. Right? I have had other content creators that are female tell me he calls them at night. And these are people that are. What? He calls them at night? Because he's In all the coked middle of up. The night, yeah, he's coked out. He's drunk. Yeah. Hey, this going on. Hey, you want to see me put on my ball down? What's going uh, on, bitch? What's going on? You spread that fuck those legs, bitch. I fill you up. How about what that? What a creep. You like that when I feel you? a married up, man with five kids. Oh, Mandy, you came. Sorry, you sorry Liana. Pictures. <laughs> sorry, bitch. Sorry. She's like, hey, bitch. How about I spread those ass cheeks? You like that? Are married or have boyfriends? <laughs> Remember when I walked in? To fucking from Knoxville into the Airbnb and Ralph's on the phone with that girl. Oh, and he's like, yeah. you, you better send me a picture of your tits, bitch. I got thousands of I dollars. I got thousands, thousands in the bank. He has thousands in the bank. Oh, man. Ooh. And he will call them and be on the phone for five to six, seven hours. What? Hours? What type of married man is on the phone with another woman for five to six, long? seven hours? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yikes. Mm -hmm. I got Sorry, I got to go. My fucking kid needs to go to school. Well, no, at some point they're like, my yeah. boyfriend is having questions about this. Oh, maybe these girls should hang up the phone. Like, you know, yeah. and, and this is after they've been propositioned, right? What? What? Propositioned? Wait, what? Did so I hear that right? Trying Oh my goodness. I want all these DMs to come out. Yeah, can they all let get... them all be unleashed? Here's Ricada's big update today. Good morning, friends. I've been cooking again. Was he cooking? Stop. Now? Is he you know, cooking yeah. crack? Like Jesse. What, what is he trying? He's, he's been cooking again, huh? April. April. <laughs> It's been a great reminder of things I had set aside and how important they were. I've made some bad choices, but none as bad as putting parts of me aside. What? Never give up yourself. If you don't know who you are, how can you know if you're cool? What? Wait, wait, wait. If you don't know who you are, how can you know if you're cool? Buddy, he's Steak on drugs for the mushroom right? pan sauce. And by the way, he's mentioning food again. Get it? Of course, if he's imagine eating, you can't being, be doing coke. Imagine being a grown ass man, five children, married, over in your forties, and you're concerned about whether or not you're cool and knowing if you're cool or not. How it's about so not gay. being an insecure loser, juvenile, <laughs> like mental defective? Like, how about that, buddy? <laughs> like, how about you figure it out? How I don't know myself in my 40s. Like, really? You don't know who you are as a person? Really? Like, what are you talking about, dude? But everyone You're, thinks he's, he's a talking bum. like he's a teenager or he's in his early 20s and he's like listless and directionless and angsty, like he's an emo child. What I have to say about this, nerd. What a nerd, buddy. But it's like everyone hates you. You're going to cook and be cool now? What the fuck are you talking about? Is he going to do a cooking He's show high. Now? He's like, high out of his mind, bro. So this was actually the last DM that came out where okay. it was leaked. Uh, and this, this basically the mod goes, you're a terrible, neglectful, bitter our father who got caught with 26 grams of coke next to your guns in your fucking house where your five kids live and your second youngest tested positive for cocaine. I don't know how you live with yourself. You deserve whatever punishment awaits you. And Rakeda sees, goes, how Christian of you. May you live in peace, Kalia. You're deceitful and needlessly vindictive. Well, what, what Kalia said was totally true. Bad news, everybody. 
Jim Fouts Let's has retired. Go! Wait, no. Officer Jim Fouts no. has finally retired. No. Yeah, his duty is done. Rakeda has been totally fucking felted. City of Wilmer announces retirement of Chief of Police Jim Felt. No. Who has dedicated over 34 years of exemplary service to our community and department. Chief Felt. Chief Felt. <laughs> Chief Felt's retirement will take effect on Friday, October 18th, 2024. Throughout his distinguished career, Chief Felt has been a pillar of leadership and integrity earning respect in the community so no more chief felt his work is done look at this he guy Ricada. he goes uh you know what mayor reese said uh i or i don't know what mayor reese said but i've also had the honor of working alongside his incredible leadership and friendship chief felt is as genuine as a human could be he has given so <laughs> chief felt Oh, look at this guy. You wow, know, he, you know, he's felted some people in his day. There goes my hero. Yeah. Watch him as he goes. You've been felt. Yo, that's his thing. He handcuffs them. You've been felted. Felted. Like, what does that mean? All right, this is the final <laughs> one here. Compensating a panel of lawyers that dedicated hours to your stream. No. Paying a thousand dollars for an abortion to a female <laughs> dancer in Jamaica. Yep. And then the last one's a duplicate. Last one's a duplicate. All right. That's it for the Ricada segment, folks.